hello guys welcome back to excuse books in this video i am going to tell you how we can add the opening balances uh, in quickbooks online so in our previous videos uh, i have told you that how to create chart of accounts and how to create items and the services and the quickbooks online so today i will tell you how we can input the opening balances for our accounts for example uh, you already are doing a business uh, let's assume that it has been two years you are doing a business and after two years you decided to switch to quickbooks online and let's say that uh, you decided to move to quickbooks online from 1st of january 2024 so before two years there is a data that also needs to be entered into the quickbooks online so if you don't want to enter the data you just want to enter the opening balances and after entering the opening balances uh, from the new year you can uh, continue to start using quickbooks online so here in this video i'll tell you how we can uh, input the opening balances in quickbooks online so let's assume that these are the opening balances of your assets equity and liability that needs to be entered this is the data for the last two years so now there are two ways to enter the opening balances the first is that whenever you are creating a new account quickbooks asks you to enter the opening balance for example uh, let's say i'm creating a new account of bank and this is a bank type and let's say the bank is Chase Checking 5896. So this is a checking account and let's make it as a sub account of bank. Now here QuickBooks is asking me to enter the opening balance. And let's say the opening balance was maybe 15,000 and this was this was for the last day of 2023 so that was uh, 12 31 and save so now if you go to your chart of accounts and if you go to your chase checking 5896 that I just created now it is showing an opening balance of 15,000 so this is one way of opening uh, one way of entering the opening balances into the quickbooks but in this video i'll show you another way in which you can uh, create all of the balances in a single shot let me uh, let me delete this transaction and delete the account because i just wanted to show you how you can do this as well and this is fine now so let's jump to our balances so I'm going to enter the all of these opening balances in the form of a journal I'll go to new and I'll go to journal entry and the date I'm going to select is the last day of 2023 so let's say that from 1st of January 2024 we decided to use QuickBooks so before all of the data uh, is compressed in the form of these all of the opening balances now it is up to you either if you want to uh, use the journal number uh, in your own sequence or you want to use it as it is like 1 2 3 4 I like to use it in this way uh, I just like to mention the year and then after mentioning the year I'll continue to use the numeric sequence 1 2 3 and so on so since this is the opening balances of all of the 2023 so that's why I mentioned this 2023 01 now let's start on the first I have I have my fixed assets and uh, by the way all of these accounts I already have uh, created chart of accounts of these accounts so 
before entering the opening balances you must ensure that you already have set up chart of accounts for all of these accounts and also note that the opening balances is all about the balance sheet items there are no opening and closing balances for the profit and loss account uh, the only the balance of the accounts that are present on the balance sheet the balances of this account gets carried forward to the next year so let's get started on the first i have mitsubishi and i have a balance of 45600 mitsubishi the second i have my toyota vehicle and this is next up i have bank of america checking and that is 12300 12300 and next up i have my chase i have chase uh, 8521 and this is 5430 next i have my petty cash and i have a petty cash of 650 then i have inventory account that is my closing inventory for 2023 and this is 14200 and we are done with the assets now i will i will enter my equity Uh, let me just go through all the details uh, Mitsubishi 45600 Toyota 34400 uh, Bank of America checking 12300 the chase 5430 and petty cash 650 inventory 14200 and I think inventory is 15,000 and accounts receivable is accounts receivable is 14,200 yes now we are done with our assets now I will enter my equity that is 25,000 and then I will enter my retained earnings that is 54,820 then I have my long term loans actually this is long term lease so the first lease is for our Mitsubishi and the second lease is for our Toyota these two vehicles we have purchased these two on lease and this is the balance left for the lease payments so first I will mention Mitsubishi and here you can see sub account of long and that is completely long term liabilities and here the, this Mitsubishi is the sub account of vehicle so we have to select the liability account and its balance is 15,890 for Toyota we have a balance of 12690 and we have one credit card that is chase 8950 chase 8950 5680 is the balance 5680 
and on the last we have accounts payables these are the amounts that we have to pay to our vendors I think accounts payable is not showing here yes accounts payable is not here so I can add account payables so I can add it quickly so I have to select accounts payable here the name accounts payable fine detail accounts payable and that's it save and close so accounts payables have 13,500 and there we are done with our journal entry I have entered all the balance of, of our assets equity and liability in a single journal and the date I have selected is the last date of the last year and now I'm going to click save now one thing more QuickBooks is going to ask me is that I have to enter a name for accounts receivables and for accounts payables. Accounts receivable I have to enter the name of a customer. So this is the accounts receivable balance that we have to receive from ABC. If you have different customers so you can add different accounts receivable lines here and against each line you can mention the name of the, your customer. And the same will apply to accounts payables as well. I have to enter here the name of the vendor. Let's say the name of the vendor is QuickBooks Online, for example. So this is uh, our vendor and save. So these two additional things QuickBooks will ask you. And we are done with our journal and let's click save. And now our journal entry have been saved. Now, if you go to a chart of accounts now, you can see these open balances. Accounts payable, receivables, your bank, and equity, inventory, the lease, uh, the lease for the two vehicles, and so on. Now let's go to the reports. I'll go to the reports and I'll go to a standard balance sheet report and on the date I will select here uh, last year where is last year and run a report so all of our accounts uh, the all of our accounts balances that I just entered here are appearing on this report it is all here in the balance sheet you can see the date as at December 31st 2023 so all of these balances are reflecting correctly on these accounts and you can also check the total. The total for our assets is 127580. Or the total is 127580. And for the lab for the equity and the liabilities, the total is same 127580, 127580. So this is how you can uh, quickly enter your opening balances in a single journal entry. Uh, so that's it guys. So this was the video for today. I do hope you guys like the video and thank you for watching